everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I got my hands on Untamed. Um, it is free with the demo. Um, well the demo is free on Steam at the moment. I'll link the Steam page and everything at the bottom. Um, it is a monster survival game. I'm like saying monster because it's cool. It's not an like a African animal or a dinosaur. They've got absolute creative freedom to design whatever they want in this fantasy world of theirs. Um, there is a Kickstarter, but I'll get to that in a sec. Let me just show you the gameplay first. This is also the first time I'm starting this up. Um, let's just see if there's anybody to join. No, nobody at the moment. Uh, let's, that's fine. Let's start the server. Okay, so this is a character customization screen. We're going to go through this in a sec. This is their first creature. Um, it's very cute. I saw it running on their Discord page the other day. Uh, people are playing this, inviting people on the Discord server to come play with them. Wonderful, wonderful screenshots. So let's see how... Oh, that's the additional markings. So that's cute. Scale, fade, dorsal. Okay, let's make it another color. Can I make it another color? Yo! Okay, so I can see what it is. Reveal. Okay, so that's the... Oh, that's bigger or smaller. That's cute. Okay, so you can auto rotate. It's just I'm gonna keep him still because I am. Okay, I want to see his pretty face. There we go. And there's his con. Okay, that's the contrast. If we chose another color, because our main marking. <gasps> Ooh, guys, this is gonna take me forever. This is the first boss of every um <laughs> type of game. This type of game. Uh, oh, that's cool. Reveal, you can have as much of the main marking as you want. Then, contrast. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's actually pretty, right? It, it makes like a little greeny outline. That's pretty. Um, Let's see. What are we going to pick? Not even, let's, let's make it like proper then we can see what's going on yeah um are we gonna go blue oh look at that blue. oh it blends into that pink man okay i don't like that color though oh oh wow oh wow okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. mark the mark border let's see oh that's like this part that's cool you can make it a uh, let's make it that there okay main body okay faded three oh <gasps> faded two oh <gasps> dang oh man now i'm confused because now we're having issues okay because that looks pretty that also looks pretty okay i'm not a fan of that i'm i like you know i like that marbled Striped point, striped. It's too, it's too marbled. Cause I, yeah, mm. man, 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 man. You know what? I'm gonna fiddle with this and then like do a time lapse because this is gonna take me forever. We we all know this, but I will understand how my brain works. Cause I'm gonna fiddle with everything. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I am... <laughs> this is my creature, okay? I wanted to see how not shocking it can be, but it's like, it's really got a really pretty, um, uh, you know, customization thing. Uh, you can marble it, different things, main body. I want to see what... Can I... Oh, that's that. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm not going to... Mm -mm. No, otherwise I'm going to be stuck here forever. Thank you. Load that preset. So this is cool. So once you've played with it, you can load a preset and then just, you know, make a million of these little creatures with all different colors. I think it's very pretty. Um, okay, so you can't choose male or female. I don't think there's any um, breeding or whatever in there yet. So let's spawn the creature, see how the world looks like. 
Oh. I grew. Um, I think they... I don't know if it's like an adult now. Could be. Oh, wow. Okay. I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> For a fantasy game where you can be like a blue little reptile. And like a creature that we don't... That doesn't exist. This actually feels... Pretty cool. It's a little light for a little creature. I think it's because it's a little creature. Um, once I bring in the heavies, I think there will be some more heavy things. But this feels nice. I like it when the tail moves. Can it run? It can run. It's a cheetah run. That is so cool. It's very responsive. Very responsive. See, it's a little bit slidey on the back when you, you know, when you walk. Um, but I think I mean it's very early access. I mean it's not even, <laughs> it's not even access. It's just this demo. So, yeah. Okay, let's explore the map a little. It's very cute. I love. Oh, look at the head bobs. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot that I can make sounds. Hold on. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay, that's a biting. Uh, lift. Right. Oh, I love that sound. That woo woo sound. It sounds so fantasy. I love it. That's one. That's two. Oh, I love that. Oh. That's a three quarter, by the way. And a four. Okay, so they've got one, two, three, and four. Oh, let's. That's. I love the sounds. Okay, I'm. <clears throat> I'm in shock. <laughs> the sounds sound so. Like, uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound like an animal. It sounds like, um, like an avatar -y, Pandora -y, uh type of animal. You know. It's beautiful. Let's go check out the water if I can find any water. I want to see how this thing drinks. Um, I don't know what I eat though. Wait, let me just see. Is there sniff? Um, settings. Mouse and keyboard. Uh, jump, chat, crouch. Uh, fear emotes. It's scratching himself at the background. <laughs> Grab. I, I like it that they actually tell you, okay, fear is four, friendly is two, because if you're a new player to any um to any of these type of games, like any of the survival animal survival type of games, nobody tells you that one is broadcast and two is friendly and three is um you know, angry and four is fear. So nobody tells you I like this. I must put in the rest, like one, two. I don't know if they've got Threaten emote. There we go. Let's threaten. Sniff is Q. Okay. Small talk? It's F. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hoppity, hoppity, hoppities. Is there a wet simulation? No. No wet simulation. We can maybe make it like um, what do you call it? Like a shiny. I love the trot though. Boing, 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 boing. Such a happy little animal. I like it. Okay. <coughs> Wee! Yep. Wee! Yep. Okay, so. The jump is not bad. Not gonna lie. I usually when there's a jump and there's an animal, it's it's like a it's like this weird um it, it doesn't jump and then it like, you know, just gets stuck in midair. I can actually feel that this animal jumps from its hind legs. Like whoop. There we go. 
Sorry I'm putting so emphasis on, on movement, but that is like a make or break for me. The movement, if the movement sucks, the whole game is like, it pulls me out of the immersion. I don't like sliding animals. The transition in the gates of this animal is amazing. <laughs> I just, I was just like running, jumping, so smooth, and then stopped and it just, it does this like little sexy. Okay. That's pretty. It's a little bit of a turning animation. Okay, so this is the mouse. If you do the mouse, there's no turning animation. But if you do with the keyboard, I know. I'm sorry. It's not. St I'm not smooth. Um, a little bit of a head movement and a tail movement. That's pretty. Okay. Um, maybe they can make it like when they move. It's not like, you know. Uh, like ticks. It's like, you know, twelve o'clock and then suddenly three o'clock and then six o'clock and then nine and then twelve again. You know. Maybe can they can be like a smooth transition between the things. Even though it's a little bit slower, like a smooth transition. But now I'm just being nitpicky. So far, so good. Wow, that looks pretty. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know what to eat. <laughs> oh, such a noisy little drinker. You're such a noisy little drinker. Let's check out the... Oh yeah, look at the tail. Swish, 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 swish. That's cute. I like the mushrooms. Okay. Let's up on this one up here. I want to see what's this. Boop, boop. <laughs> I love the little hoppity hoppity hoppities. It's very cute. Yeah. Oh. So this is my first impressions, okay? Um I haven't played this game. I saw some other some other people play this game and I honestly didn't watch any of them because I didn't want my view to get you know, interfered with <laughs> if I can put it that way. Um I didn't want to hear whatever they were saying. Because I wanted to give my own unbiased opinion after playing uh, all sorts of animal games. Um, you know, can I, wait, let's see. Can I splash? It's going to hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it pops up. Um, after playing Animalia and Beast of Bermuda and, you know, all that Path of Titans, all that stuff. I want to give my honest opinion on this type of game. And uh, I love the model. So far, so good. The only criticism that I feel I can give at the moment um, even though it's a beautiful world I don't feel it fits the animal so um, it looks like I can make any kind of color animal but it doesn't fit the fantasy vibes of the animal if you get what I'm saying it, it sh I'm seeing this animal more in a biome where it can be absolutely colorful and then blend in into that color so more of you know i saw mushrooms there more like and this is going to be like very stereotypical but um but maybe in like a mushroom colorful mushroom crystal biome oh that's pretty look at them swaying it's like those type of vines you know, because this animal reminds me of the hyena from, or the dog, or whatever. It sounds like a hyena from um, Avatar with the blue, the blue cats. Um, it it's, it feels like it's one of those. It might be inspired though, but I, I don't think so. But um, it feels like it should be in that type of environment, you know, where everything matches its skin color, where everything is bright and vibrant. Because at the moment, this animal it doesn't make sense in this world not at all in this world it seems it's at a fairy fairy circle do not enter the fairy circle <laughs> um, at this moment it feels like this animal was just dropped in here in I, I can be wrong okay it just it feels like this that this animal was dropped in a generic build world build Okay, I am. I don't know if 
the assets are their assets. Okay, obviously this is their asset, but the world asset. I'm not sure if it's their asset or if they're going to make different biomes of for these little creatures. But at the moment, as it stands, this feels more like a realistic uh, Earth map where they can go. They've got beautiful models, absolutely gorgeous models. Maybe they can build the world around these creatures, make it huge trees and even purple trees. Why not? You know, if you want to go fantasy animal, go all out, make the world fantasy. Because all these, there's vines here, greens vines. Yeah, I can recognize some of the trees. That's spruce trees or whatever it is. You know, it feels earth. And I don't want it to feel earth. <laughs> I want it to feel like this creature can live in a world where it can camouflage. It can be as bright and bold as it wants to because the world is as bright as it is. So I'm just thinking like, you know, the world is pretty. It is a pretty world, but it doesn't fit the animal. Let's see. Let's just check out this. I like this spot. It's a pretty spot. Oh. That's cute. I must say the world building, the ideas, like, um, like for instance that, that you can like, you know, lie on. That's good. I like the ideas of the world. You know, there's some things to climb on, there's high ledges, low ledges, um, it feels kind of nicely thought through, um, things placed nicely, you know, you can climb and whatnots, that is nice. I like that, that's pretty, I like these mushrooms too. <laughs> Oop. Loop. But I want it like fantasy, if you're going for a fantasy animal, make it fantasy, <laughs> you know? You know? Okay. Other than that... Oh, that sound. I... I don't know how they made these sounds, but it is so cool listening to it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about the Kickstarter. Um... So currently their goal was 25k and they smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Good on them. I feel the game is with the animal that they now have. Stunning. I, I'm, I'm really hyped for this. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, so they still have 9 days to go. They've got a couple of backers. So you can have different tiers. Um, you can read on what is Untamed. Untamed is a progress multiplayer survival game for PC, in which players take control of a fantastical creature in a world of overgrown, uh, world of overgrown ruins. The objective is to survive to adulthood by using your own skills alone, or by forming a pack with other players and working together. That's cool. So this is. Look at the little odds. So I think this is their little flagship creature. Um, it's very cute. <laughs> I don't know who did this. Kudos to you. I love it. I think it's very cute. Little long legs. It reminds me of a little, a little cheetah. So, there's them. That's credits. Okay, so then you get different things. We have experience for you new amongst of our gamers. Playing as a creature that our team has dreamed up. <laughs> you guys. Um, other survival games allow you to play as an animal that exists in a world. Dinosaurs or dragons. All of which have well-established metas that players take advantage of. Untamed is a game where all players start at the same level of familiarity with the unique creatures that we created. That is what I like. Okay, so that that for me is a selling point. It's not preconceived creatures. We don't know what this thing's background is. We don't know what it eats. We don't know what it's, you know, if you want to roleplay this. We don't know what it's thinking or feeling or any of that. We don't know. And it's wonderful because you can just play your own thing uh goals uh i'm tamed is a fantasy theme creature survival you will assume the role of a completely original fantasy beast who is either carnivore or herbivore oh <gasps> so you can choose using each creature's unique play style uh and your wits you'll become either hunter or the hunted 
The objective of the game is to survive and thrive against other players in a one-of-a-kind fantasy setting that will challenge your skills and ability to use the environment around you. Ah, that's cool. Vision. Um, our team speaks to finding innovative solutions to problems and challenges that other survival games have faced. Untamed strives to utilize creature features that not only make sense in a survival setting, but are exciting and fun to use. With a strong background in the game genre, our team knows that it's in its ins and outs. For every time we've seen, man, I wish the game had this, we took note and now look to the creature in the game that gives Oh, we took note and now look to creature a game create a game oh, man, my English. Create a game that gives a fulfilling and thrilling experience to a genre uh, we all hold dear and near and dear to our hearts. And Tame seeks to be a fresh new take on the beloved tried and true style of game. I thought also not to be like a Debbie Downer, but the survival genre is so tired now. Because it's either you know games that focuses on animals that we know or you know that type of thing i want to see stuff that i don't know i'm a role play stuff that i don't know um there's a playable demo on steam or you can go to actually play yeah discord okay so yeah so i'll link i'll link their page at the bottom of this I'll, t I'll pin it i'll even do it in the description but i'll pin it also so this is you can read a bit about this this is very interesting from where they come and um, how they got to this. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is a little flagship creature. Funding and breakdown. Um, so they are very transparent on what they are going to use the funding on. So the base game is going to be 25k. We've shot through that. Nice. Um, and then they will show you know, reward fulfillment. There's going to be other types of skins and things that you can unlock if you back the project. So, with coding, um, they give you a breakdown of, you know, collision between players, all that stuff they are planning. With 8k, um, the first herbivore, this thing, I am stoked for this thing beyond, look at this. I saw this on their Discord server, not gonna lie, I'm like, I'm such a fan of a herbivore, like a good herbivore, look at this. Love it. Um... So yeah, so rigging and everything, pledge tier, a heartfelt thank you from the team, your name and credits, uh, sticker for 10, $10, 14, one copy of Untamed, early buy edition, 15, one copy of Untamed, you can read all these, 50, it's a digital art book, how cool is that? Two copies of Untamed, <clears throat> it's just a sample book of theirs. 75 figure tier list, a resin figure of uh, the lizard. I would like a resin figure. A resin figure of Anzaso. I like that, that's cool. 150, you get both. Oh goodness. Resin skin, limit 5. These are all sold out. Wow. Uh, resin design, additional rewards. Um, Venari, lizard. Okay, I don't know what the Venari is, that's a new one. So you can go through all these um, designers AI creature and then sketch goals and everything. Oh, that's pretty too. Man. So then they do their stretch goals. The second carnival, which is going to be, I think this one. Look at the face. That's pretty. At 20k. We reach, uh, reaching when we hit. Okay. So you can still pledge. Then they do like a second, so, yeah, a second carnival territories. I want this one, nesting, arenas and artifacts, that's also very pretty, oh gimme, boss fights, gimme, I want this, this is pretty, and then a little bit of the art, so you can check it out, oh, and here's a team, <laughs> I love it. I love seeing the people. I do. It puts like a, you know, a face to, it makes the whole project real and they're smiling and everything. So you can go and read up on this. Everything will be in the bottom. And then risk and challenges. So they're all um, very transparent. You can go onto their Discord server. They're all like super helpful. Um, if you want to say you want to do like a multiplayer session, then they will literally hop on the game and then do a multiplayer session with you. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, look at that. That's actually very pretty. 
I love the reflection. That's so pretty. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I did not push anything. That was him moaning at me for standing still too long. Okay? Okay. It's That was not me. <laughs> Oopsie. I want to see the... What is that? What's so shiny? Can I swim faster? No, I can't. Ooh. I just want to see what's there. That's super shiny. Is there like night vision? Night vision for the win. That's cool. Oh, it's a oh, it's a mushrooms. It's glowing mushrooms. See, see, see. I want this. This. This is so cool. Oh, you know what reminds me? Like maybe like a map, like arc aberration. Mhm. Mm there we go. Like that type of look and feel. Maybe not the, the green part, but the blue and going down. Mm. This is cool. I like this. I like the progress so far. Very cute. Love it. Good job, guys. <laughs> I am going to let my little ones... Can I sleep? Let's see. I can! Look at it lie down. Can I long press? No. I can't sleep sleep. You can just like... There we go. <laughs> Anyway guys, if you like this, please comment, share and subscribe. Check out the thing at the bottom if you are interested. And uh, let me know if you're going to give this game a try. Um, yeah, I'll look out for your screenshots if you're going to go and take some screenshots with your friends, if you are. Um, let me know. Okay, if you like this, please comment, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Sorry, aggressive. My, my bad, my bad. There we go. Love you all. <laughs> Bye. Sorry, please don't go. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go, don't go, don't go. I was sitting here, playing around a little. <laughs> Checking the settings and whatnot. And it started snowing. It legitimately started snowing. Uh, let me just... Can I get up? Please let me get up. Oh, listen to that sound. Man. Sorry I'm putting this at the end of the video. But I was like freaking out when I saw this. <laughs> Look at the back. Because I was legitimately like impressed with the game. So I was like, hmm, I'm going to walk around a little bit. And it started snowing. <sighs> ASMR snow. Oh, Look at the, Look at the footsies. That is so cute. Hold on. Oh, it makes patterns when I lie down. Oh dang. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> it totally surprised me. It feels like it's running slower now because it's like snowing. I don't know. It's so cool. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Um, now it's the end of the video. Okay. Bye.